Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Horner and I'm here again today with my fourth out of four videos to tell you about the Hydro Quiver Vest Pack 2 and what it did for me in my race at Quicksilver. As you may have seen in that video, I went through some difficulties, we'll call them, and this was really my best friend out on the course. First I'm going to talk generally about the features of this thing and then I'll put it on and show you what it functions like when it's on your person. So first and maybe most importantly for me not dying of dehydration while out on the course, we've got two 25 ounce BPA free bottles. They slide into these little holsters here at the back which you can adjust via some velcro. Around on the front we've got four pockets. There are two that go over your shoulders. These are both made of an expandable material and they close with velcro on the front. Similar to that, right up front on the chest we've got two big pockets that are expandable and they close via a nylon cord. If you're looking at the pack and you're seeing some discoloration in some places, don't worry it didn't come that way. That was my sweat and I added it later. On the outside we've got this black ultra durable material but on the inside you've got a nice orange breathable mesh. Alrighty let's throw this sucker on. So in this video I want to also cover something that I learned firsthand, which is how to make this thing fit you right. So we've got this buckle up front, right, which I have loosened to just really large proportions. But we've also got two adjustable straps, one under each armpit. When you're throwing this thing on for the first time, it's just going to feel a little weird, especially if you're putting it on in your living room, which is not exactly where this thing is meant to serve its function best. So take a deep breath and just kind of roll with the flow. This is a different kind of pack and so it's going to have a different kind of fit. First steps first, we don't actually really want to tighten this thing too tight because this is not the tightness that keeps this thing secure. It's actually the two armpit flaps. So I'm going to tighten these two down first. Another thing to be aware of is that when you tighten these down, you might want to take the strap and throw it into the little strap holder here so that it's not going to wave around and also just whip you in the armpit. Okay, once we've gotten those two tight, now it's time to play with the chest strap. I'm about 5'10", 140 pounds, so I tighten this thing down pretty tight. Okay, I think we're at about ideal fit for me. Notice that if you keep these snug up front, the bottles are not going to fall down your back where you can't reach them. So speaking of the bottle reach, I know that's a question that a lot of first time vest pack users have. I'll be completely honest, I also had that fear. I've got a lot going on back here. I've got a big ponytail, I've got the bill of a hat, and I was really worried I wasn't going to be able to grab the bottles. But honestly, I've found that I can grab these things easily with both right and left hands, both while they're empty and nearly full, and then I can also throw them back in there without even getting my ponytail caught. So how did I use this thing during the race? Well, like a lot of ultra runners, I'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to nutrition, so I had a whole bunch of gels in here. Because these pockets are stretchy, they kind of hold on and keep snug all of the things that you're carrying in here. I also, and this is maybe incredibly ironic after my last video, kept a map of the course in here, although it didn't help me much. During the race, I didn't have to carry a ton of quantity because I was going to be hitting aid stations every so often, but some of my long runs got up there around four hours, a little bit more, and I tried to survive on these two bottles and these full of, of gels, and I was doing just fine. Specifically during the Quicksilver race, when I got lost and had an extra 45 minutes or so before I got to the aid station, I had enough extra in these things to take me through. I've honestly put this vest pack too through quite a bit as the sweat marks will show. But I've been more than happy with how this thing has treated me and honestly a little bit surprised at how well it's worked. I think that's going to do it for this video on the Hydro Quiver Vest Pack 2 and for the four videos that I've made for Orange Mud. I wanted to say really quickly thank you to Orange Mud for giving me this opportunity and for treating me so well. And thank you guys all for watching. Alrighty, happy running. I actually got a little thirsty filming this video, so this is nice.